This Primavera P6 tutorial demonstrates the process of assigning resources to activities. The first scenario that we'll explore is the process of assigning resources to fill roles. Again, roles are temporary placeholders that you can assign to an activity until you know the specific resource who will fill the role. As you can see, I've highlighted activity BA2080. If I look in the activity details on the resources tab, I can see that the role of operator has been assigned to this activity. I'm now getting ready to fill the role with a specific resource. When I'm using the role functionality, I previously would have assigned the role by clicking add the role. When I want to fill the role, the process is that I click the button to assign by role. And I can either do that here on the activity details tab or I can come over to my command bar and click resource by role. When I'm filling a role, I do not want to click add resource directly. So I'm going to click assign by role and I will then have a list of those resources who are qualified to fill that role. And I'm going to select the equipment operator heavy. As soon as I do so, I'll receive a confirmation dialog box and what it's asking me to determine is which price per unit I would like to use for this new resource assignment. Do I want to use the price per unit of the role, which in this instance is $30 per hour, or do I want to use the price per unit for the actual resource that I'm assigning? So what I'm going to say is that don't ask me this question again and always use the price per unit of the resource that's going to fill the assignment. So I'll click yes. The second confirmation dialog box wants me to confirm whether or not I want to use the default units per time and overtime factor values from the resource that's going to fill this role. Most of the time you would want to do that, so I'm going to say don't ask me this again and I will answer yes but it is important to always review the budgeted units per time and make sure that they are accurate. In this instance, I'm going to answer yes. I'll close down the dialog box and I will notice that my price per unit for the resource is $22.90 versus the $30 per hour for the uh, equipment, uh, for the role of operator. I'm going to scroll down now and learn how to fill a role for multiple activities simultaneously. If I highlight 4020, I'll see that I need a cost engineer. 4030, I also need a cost engineer. And on 4040, I need a cost engineer. If it's my objective to fill all of those roles with the same cost engineer, I can select them all either by pressing shift click or control click and then I can take advantage of the button on the command bar called resource by role to fill that role across all three of those activities. So I can see a list of those resources who can fill the role of cost engineer and if I scroll on this dialog box I can see what their proficiency level is helping me to make a decision about that. I'm going to select Oliver Rock to fill the role on all three of those activities and I'll close down the dialog box. Notice I can see that displayed in the column on my activity table called resources and if I select each one of my activities individually I'll see that that role has been filled in the activity detail tabs as well. I'm going to scroll up now to my level of effort activity project administration and I can see that I've established that I need a role of project manager I need the project manager basically for the duration of the project, but I only need him there for one hour per day. If I say I'm going to assign by role, I'll see a list of the people or the resources that can fill that role, and I'm going to select Tim Harris. And I want you to watch what happens to budgeted units per time when I do so. So I'll select Tim Harris, and I'll close down the dialog box. And you'll see that it has overridden the number of hours per day I established for the role with the default hours per day from the resource Tim Harris. So I'm going to override that and revert back to one hour per day. 
So these previous examples are dealing with usage of roles and then filling the role with a resource. Let's talk now about just assigning resources directly and not using the role functionality. So I'm going to go back to the activity BA2080. We previously filled the role of operator with an equipment operator heavy resource. If you want to assign non-labor resources or material resources to an activity, you do not have the ability to use roles. You would need to add a resource directly. So I'm going to highlight BA2080, go to the Resources tab, and I'm going to click Add a Resource. And what I'm going to do is to add the piece of equipment, in this instance a backhoe, that's needed for this activity. I'm now going to scroll to activity BA2060, Concrete Foundation Walls, and I'm going to add some resources directly to this activity as well. I can either do that again by clicking Add a Resource on the Activity Details, or by selecting it from the cell on the Activity Table, or again I can come over to my Command Bar and add resources from the Command Bar. I'm going to click Add a Resource, and I'm going to select first off to add a carpenter. I'll backspace over carpenter. I'm going to select an iron worker. And I'm going to select a laborer. When I'm assigning resources to an activity, I can designate one of those resources as the primary resource. And you can see that it's selected carpenter automatically uh, because that's the first act, uh, resource that I added to this activity. I'm now going to add a material resource. So I'm going to click Add a Resource and select Polyform. Material resources are entered in a slightly different way in that they are not measured in terms of units per time. So I'm just going to go directly to the Budgeted Units column for, for Polyform and I'm going to indicate that I need a thousand linear feet of polyform. So once I'm done, I can then go to my Summary tab, and on my Summary tab, on any activity, I've got three radio buttons, one of which is Display the Cost. And when I go to Display the Cost, I can see a summary of all of the cost information I've entered. Labor, non-labor, and material cost come from the Resource tab, and if I were tracking expenses, I would see that reflected on the Expenses row, having entered it on the Expenses tab. This tutorial covered the process of assigning resources to fill roles and of assigning resources directly to an activity. Hopefully this is helpful to you in your resource management.